Hello, hello YouTube. How's it going? The Exidy here for you guys. And as you can see by the title of this video, we're going to be going over the top five cars in Southwest Florida that is under fifty thousand dollars. And we're going to be looking at five of them best that vehicles under fifty grand can offer, and deciding which is the one you should buy. So we're going to be going over a few categories of speed, looks, handling and sound. Now all of these vehicles that I'll be showing can do over 170 miles an hour stock. Don't they none of them have a default sound and they all in my opinion look pretty decent. Handling well we'll get to that. So uh, let's start off with the 2023 Honda Civic Type R in the hatchback category. Now let's go and get 170 miles an hour and uh, see what the absolute top speed of this is. But uh, more just to show you, it does do 170. Because obviously, speed is a large factor when uh, when looking for a cheap car. Now it does struggle to get to 170, and as we'll see later in the video. There are vehicles that will be going a lot quicker, like 168, 169, there we go, 170. It does do it, but it, is, it does take a long time, which does will put people off and will obviously affect it as a uh, good car under 50k. Now, handling, well, we'll just go around this corner to show. It's uh, it definitely understeers. It's uh, it's not a drifter, and that's because it is front wheel drive. But one thing that one thing I will not say is it's actually rather fuel economic. So uh, yeah, we we started with about 12 gallons or something like that, I think, some around that, and uh, this car's about 40,000, 40 something thousand, so pretty decent, but we will move on now to, that's the supercars, um, move on to the 2013 Cadillac CTS-V, now this is a sedan, it's uh, let, let's just hear the start up, eh? let's rub it, it definitely sounds better. I will not lie. Let's do the 170 uh, miles an hour test. Now, 130. Yeah, this is easily doing it. 150, 160, 170. Might as well go on. It, it, does, uh, it does definitely go quite a bit quicker than the uh, under Civic Type R. We'll leave the 185. Now, sounds? Does it sound better than the Honda Civic Type R? Personally, yes, I think it does. Now, we are just gonna go and have a look about handling, because uh, obviously this is more power, so probably a little bit worse on the handling, right? Apparently not. Apparently this can drift, whereas the uh, Honda Civic can't. Mind you, I'm just bad at drifting. So, definitely the Cadillac CTS V is better than the Honda Civic Type R so far. And uh, that's in the sedan category. Now, for the coupe category, we've got three incredible statistical cars, and they all sound good. So, now, now for the 2012. Maserati Gran Turismo MT. Now let's get a start up. Now let's rev it. It's definitely quieter, but let's go for the 100 and, uh, 170 mile an hour test. Let's see. That, that. We probably should be able to overtake that from Mitsubishi. Lancer Evolution Evo 5? 10? I don't know. Okay, 100. Anyway, 160 miles an hour. Yep, we're getting 170 easily. And 
535. This car actually is surprisingly cheap. I'm pretty sure it's like twenty-eight thousand dollars. Either that, or I'm completely, uh, completely forgetting numbers. But yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely a one-quick car for a very, very good price for the quality. Now let's go around the corner. This, most of these vehicles are real drive. The only exception I know of is the Honda Civic Type R which is front wheel drive. Now uh, let's uh, let's move on to the next one which is going to be the 2012 Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. Now this is the loudest car in the, in the group and yeah you can hear it and we've even got a drift off with launch okay now let's do 170 mile an hour test this is easily going to do it okay let's go 125 135 150 160 170 yep there we go 170 miles an hour honestly this thing does look this does look quite nice I like the looks of it but it uh, is a little bit slower than uh, than currently the uh, where is it the Cadillac CTS V is the fastest vehicle currently we do have one vehicle left, and that is the. Where is it? Okay. Cadillac CTS V Coupe. Now, the difference between these two is. Well, 556 horsepower. 556 horsepower, but the weight. This is 4.4222 kilos. The Coupe is 4217. There is a 5 kilogram difference five pound difference that is how little margins we are working with but this I rather looks of this to be honest obviously same engine same sound so let's just get started eh? 100, uh, okay let's go 100 miles an hour now 120 130 140 150 this should be should be quicker. 160, 170. So yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be really between Cadillacs. Cadillacs are just destroying this category. 196, 197. If we get 190 even. 198, 199. I saw 190 for a second. I did see 190 for a second. Okay, so if you're why are my lights not working? There we go. For a, for a car under 50k that does that speed, this is an absolute beast of a car. Now we're going to be going on to a factor that um, you're not going to be really thinking about for a lot, but fuel economy. I'm going to get really boring now, but it is actually a massive part of this because the prices of petrol is up by so much. You might have getting a car that guzzles gas and uh, end up being more expensive than uh, a counterpart. So we've for that we've used not even a gallon. Okay, now we'll try the Chevy. So that, that's 0.8 gallons. This is 0.94 gallons. Okay. So currently the Cadillac for the win. The Maserati. Wow! Half a gallon. Well, 0.6 per gallon. Whichever you want to say. Now we'll go for the Cadillac again. I'm expecting this to be a little bit more because it's 5 kilos or pounds heavier. Um, wrong. It's actually a quarter of a gallon. Now, 
finally for the hatchback for the Honda Civic Type R. Uh, okay. Vehicle Super R, okay. Oh, 1.41 gallons, wow. That's, that's not what I was expecting. I was expecting this to, uh, been the hot, the, uh, the fuel economic, economic one. I was expecting this to be, uh, best on the fuel. So, what is the best car under $50,000? Well, by, by quite a, quite a bit, actually. It is the Coupe 2013 Cadillac CTS-V Coupe. Coupe? It's in the coupe, coupe sat, uh, section, and it's done 50,000, I think it's about 48,000. And this is, this is definitely the best car. So I hope that helped you. Make sure to like if, and tell me if you want to see a part two where it's $100,000, and maybe even the best car in South West Florida. So make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, just so that keep notified when I do next upload and uh, it helps out the channel a lot so thank you for watching thank you for subscribing subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one bye